Making basic laser cut files can be easy and I can prove it. How? Cause it's my birthday, which means I need to make myself a birthday present. First, I stop by one of my favorite stores to pick up a couple of things for a top secret project. I double dog Dairy to try this along with me. It's only gonna take us a couple minutes and the program is totally free to download. So let's do this. First, I'm gonna change the size of my workspace by going to File, then Document Properties. In this pop-up, you can toggle between measurement types and input the workspace you need. I'm going with the 300 by 200 millimeter document, but depending on your laser requirements, you could probably skip this. It's just good to know how. Now let's see if I can complete my project outside at the same time as us here inside. Using the simple circle drawing tool on the left side bar, we are going to start drawing some circles and using copy and paste to make a few of them quickly. Next, we select object and scroll down to align and distribute to get the right side bar up. I'm going to put the circles into a corn-like shape and use the horizontal alignment function. This makes all the circles equally spaced. Selecting all of them, I copy paste again and use this button that looks like two triangles and a line on the top bar. This flips them so I can make the other side of the corn. A little more copy and pasting of circles makes the corn outline I am looking for. Select all the circles and go to path and down to union. This welds all of the shapes together, but we don't want that inside part. So to get rid of that, we go to path and break apart. Now you can select the inside shape and delete it. How's outside me doing? Looking like we're making some progress. And so are we. Now we are going to manually alter some vector shapes. Since we have really gotten to know that circle shape tool, let's draw a big circle. Let's hurry and shape this into some corn husks before it starts looking like something you'd see drawn inside a bathroom stall. To make the circle a shape we can manipulate, we need to select it and go to Path, then down to Object to Path. Now you can double click it or press the tiny square mouse icon on the left to edit the path by its nodes. I'm just going to fiddle this into a leafy shape. Try out the four node function buttons at the top to alter the node's functionality to get the shape you want. Then we do the same method for copying it and flipping it. Using the alignment tool to align the bottom, we go to Path and Union to make it all one shape. Make sure everything is where you want it and make two copies. For the first copy, select both shapes and go to path and then difference. On the next copy, delete the corn. For the last copy, select path and then union. By now you can see we use a lot of the same functions. Soon you'll be a pro. Now we have some shapes for a design and a back layer to glue everything onto. I would like some more depth to this piece, so let's make a copy of the husk and alter the nodes a little bit. And let's check in on the outside laser lady, see how she's doing. Looks like she's almost done, and so are we. I just alter the nodes to where I want them. Easy enough. I'm going to pile all these on top of each other now and scale them down to the exact size that I want. Everything will shrink at the same rate, so it'll still fit together. Now to add a little bit of engraved flair, I'm going to write a word on here. You'll find the text tool in the left toolbar. Go up to text and down to text and font to bring up the toolbar on the right hand side. I'm going to pick a fun font, click apply, and now we need to turn it from text into a shape. To do this, you select the word, then up to path, and then object to path. Next, we go to object and then down to ungroup. If you need to move any letters around, now is the time to do it. To make it one shape, select the whole word and we go back over to path and then union. We've used this a lot now. You should be pretty used to it. To change the color, you can select all of these here on the bottom. If you want a stroke line, like if you wanted to cut the word out, then hold the shift key and select a color. I'm going to engrave mine, so I'll just keep it black. To zoom in, hold the control button and push your mouse scroll wheel up or down. Otherwise, there is a toggle in the bottom right corner. To get rid of that red stroke line, hold the shift key again and select the white X color for clear. I ended up changing the word to yum. <laughs> if you need to alter the size of your line width, you can go up to object and then fill and stroke. This will pop up on the right side with a bunch of options. You can alter the line size under the stroke style tab, as well as change the colors here. Remember to save it and now we can cut it out with our laser. I was able to fit an extra alien head pendant in with the bottom leaf cut file. I have a bunch of downloads like this on my website linked below. There are a bunch of fun colors to choose from. I'll also link my favorite acrylic shops. 
I added a bit of a stake to the bottom of the back piece. I bet you can guess how I was able to do that now that you've learned so much about Inkscape. Oh, I wonder if outside me is done yet. It looks like she's getting close and so are we. While the last piece cuts out, let's use this Sharpie paint pen to color in the engraving. I used my handy Gorilla duct tape to help me get the backing paper off. I'm going to use this Weld On number 16 Fast Set Cement to glue it all together. A few clamps and just a couple of minutes later and we are done. It is time to go outside and label my new garden bed. I had a super awesome birthday and I hope I was able to teach you how to set up an easy but super cute layered laser cut design. I have a detailed step-by-step -step guide on my website as well for reference. Check out this playlist for more laser project inspiration. I hope you have a happy birthday too, <laughs> whenever it is.